Kia ora toutou. My name's Esther. I'm the educator at the Suta Art Gallery in Nelson. And I'm here today to um, lead you in a fun art activity that you can do at home with whoever you're in your bubble with. So let's get started. Did you notice how that photo had no colour? Old fashioned photos were made using lights and darks. This is my grandfather Harvey Strang. When he went to World War II he took his camera and he tried to photograph all the things that were different and special from his usual life. Just like my granddad Harvey did, today we're going to make an artwork that captures a special moment in time. You guys might wonder why we're um, making our art with coffee today. I was thinking um, that there's so many different things you can make art out of. Not always exactly what you expect, there's like heaps of things to make art out of. And um, coffee is something that we mainly have at home. And sometimes when we're stuck at home in lockdown, we don't have everything we need. And so I thought it would be quite fun to try and see what we could do with coffee. Now if you haven't got coffee you can probably use something else. Um, you might even have just ordinary paint, you could use that, but it's quite fun to use coffee and coffee's um, got a great smell when you make it. You can use instant coffee or you can use uh, coffee grounds as well. Um, I'm using instant coffee today because um, I think it's a bit easier actually, it's a bit stronger, it's colours a bit stronger. So um, you'll have to experiment with this um, so I'm going to do a little bit in front of you and mixing it up, but you might decide you want different strengths. Basically we just want to mix up some little containers of uh, liquid coffee at different strengths to make a different brown colour. So when we paint our picture, that's going to look a little bit like those old fashioned photos we saw that don't have um, colour, but they just have different levels of darks and lights in them so that's what ours is going to look like today so let's let's start mixing okay so I'm going to take um, one teaspoon of coffee and I'm going to put that in my first container let's do that one teaspoon of coffee I'll use this one first try and keep it even um, actually I'm going to put a teaspoon of coffee in each of my containers okay so I've got that one that one I'm trying to keep it the same. I feel like I'm on a cooking show. Um, and here's another one there. And I'm going to put water in. And this one, the first one, the white, my I can't probably tell what colour the container is. This one I'm just gonna put a very small amount of water, about half a teaspoon of water in that one. And the second one, I'm going to put a whole teaspoon of water in that one. And then the third one, I'm going to put three teaspoons of water. 
one, two, three. So different brands of instant coffee are going to be different. And of course, um, if you use ground coffee, um, you probably, I think you'd have to brew it up first before you did it to make the colour come out. But um, you'd probably have to have a different technique for this. So this one, maybe I'll have six of this one. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. And the first thing we're going to do after that just going to put those other things to the side so we're just going to mix them up really 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 well because if we don't mix them up really really well we're going to end up with little flecks darker flecks so we'll mix them up as well as we can this one is almost like a paste this one here and i'm mixing up sorry about the noise guys i know it's going to be quite noisy on the film probably so ooh, sludge coffee sludge and it does, even though this is instant coffee, it smells pretty good. Our artwork's going to smell even after we make it too. Um, this is my number two. I should probably line them up in order, okay, from dark to light. So that's our strongest one. This has got one, one teaspoon of water and one teaspoon of coffee. That one's a bit more runny. Um, our third one, which was three teaspoons of water and one teaspoon of coffee. And you, you just need to do a bit of experimenting. I hope you've got enough coffee where you are to, um, to mess around a little bit. You can have more than four. I'm also going to have water with me when I do the painting so I can make it even weaker because um, it's nice to have some really pale colours too. So this is just really to show you that there's some different options. So I've got four but I'm definitely going to um, go between them and mix them. So I'll just move these up a little bit. Up here. Bring my paper down. Let's just see what they look like. Okay, so let's just do a wee test. Right, so I've got my brush. I'm going to make my brush a wee bit wet, but I'm not going to have too much water on the brush because if I have too much water on the brush, it's going to make the it's going to dilute the colour. It's going to make the colour less strong. So this is my darkest one. Stirring it up a little bit. Oh, it's really, really thick. It's cool. Okay, so let's see what happens. I can still see some little grits of um, coffee in there. Yes, yeah, so it's got a few wee grits of coffee, that's okay though. Some people might like that look actually. So maybe I could have stirred that one a wee bit more. Doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so that's the thick one. Wash my brush. Get rid of um, excess water. Now this is my second one. What's this going to look like? I hope it's a wee bit lighter. Well, it looks quite similar, doesn't it? Um, maybe that one should have been stirred more. I'm going to wash my brush. Definitely float on quite a lot better. Um, now you could have some newspaper on your table. I'm just noticing I'm getting coffee on my table. Wherever you're working. Um, here it is. Oh look, that one's quite a lot paler. Um, and so like I said, it's, 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 it's experimenting. And this one here, just put a teaspoon in it. That is my, it's only got, it's got six teaspoons of water. So, oh yeah, it's quite a lot paler, isn't it? So you can see how more water makes it paler. I'm just going to stir up this one a little bit more. See whether I can, um, see whether it just wasn't stirred in properly because I'm just noticing this dark one isn't as dark as I thought it would be. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. And the other thing to think about is um, sometimes if you do two coats of things they look different. So we're getting different levels of darkness. Can you see that?
So the very first thing we need to do when we put the coffee onto our painting is we need to really think about where the lights and the darks are in our picture. So I'm looking at my black and white photograph very, very carefully each time. And one thing I noticed at the very, very beginning was that this part here, the middle part, the actual face mask is a lot lighter than everything else. So my first stage is just going to be um, putting a wash all the way around the outside um, of one of my light to mid colours. So I've got the four colours, the four different darknesses that we um, worked out before here. I've got some water at the top that you probably can't see and I've got some extra coffee just in case I need to make it stronger so I can make it stronger and weaker and I'm just going to um, get going now but um, the first stage will just be doing around the outside. Here's my finished artwork. Today we made a picture using lights and darks instead of different colours, just like the old photographs we looked at. How did yours turn out? Hope you had lots of fun today, and don't forget, I'd love to see your artwork.